Okay, this is the day when we are going to drive on the ice track. So people are getting ready. The EQC is getting ready. Oh, look at that snow, pile of snow. Okay, so EQC is rolling out. The IP is rolling out. I'm just hanging out here. I'm rolling out soon. Kona is getting ready over there. What the fudge, man, this snow. This pile of snow was not here yesterday. <laughs> the X is still there, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure where it is. Uh, I think the Zoe. The Zoe is still over there. Yeah, but I better follow the rest of the group. Uh, we are going somewhere. I'm not sure where. To the ice track. Okay, now the guide is driving through the tracks. So we're just following the group. Uh, no crazy hammering yet. And we are literally on the lake right now. Oh, that's cool. So this time, this year is actually on the lake. Last time was on some swamp or whatever. So it looks a little slippery area. Yes, okay, I have no gun uh, no tires. Hakaplita R3. Okay, lunch time soon. So uh, all the other guys, they came here uh, already. <laughs> They're parked here, charging up. Again, my car is over here. Uh, with the test, I want to stick with the Model 3, <laughs> so I'm charging now on 16 amp, uh, 3 phase, 11 kilowatts, another guy pull in there, so uh, yeah, let's get some lunch, oh, this, by the way, yeah, lithium, <laughs> nice license plate. Okay, this is lunch, uh, reindeer. With potato and salad. Oh, let's dig in. Whew. So we've been driving a little bit back and forth. Uh, I tested dyno mode with this car. Don't use dyno mode. It's super scary, man. Yeah, there'll be a separate video about it. But now I will test. I will get a ride in the Porsche. They have proper racing uh, spikes and everything. So wow, this is going to be interesting. Okay. <laughs> okay look here. Look at those tires, man. These are proper racing tires. Lots of studs. Oh, hey, look at that. Damn, you know, wow, cool. You see, you see how narrow these tires are? They are super narrow. But look at all those studs. This, <laughs> I3 owners be like, yeah, I know. But wow. So they go so fast around the track with this car. <laughs> so I'm gonna get a test ride in it now. Yes, let's see now. Full of roll cage, everything. <laughs> okay, nice. All right. So then I go inside. Uh, 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 oops. Uh, with the camera uh, there, I have helmet on. Uh, okay, they will strap me in. Hello. Hello. Hey, it's Svensk. Huh? Svensk. Yeah. <laughs> Bjorn, Hugle. Professional race driver. <laughs> I'm going to shit my pants. Okay. Right there. Oh my good. Okay. Shit. What the heck? Damn. Damn. What the heck? What? 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 Shit. Holy shit. What? Look, where is the <laughs> What? Holy shit! I, he goes so fast. I would never try, dare to drive this. What? <laughs> Holy shit! So the English and Thai, English and Thai, this guy is pro man, holy moly, Jeebus, look at that, <laughs> wow, wow, okay, well that, yeah, what, <laughs> how on earth, that is proper, proper control man, look at that, Look at him working. Oh, 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 oh,
I was born here. Wow! Wow! Holy <laughs> shit! I drove so slow. What? What? <laughs> I was thinking, is it not supposed to slow down? No? No? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, I'm out of breath soon. Wow, wow. insane, insane how, how fast it drives with, with the spikes also, but just the whole control in the car. It's just insane. <laughs> Whoa, what? <laughs> what? I was about to ask, is it not supposed to slow down? Well, wow, he has insane stopping distance. I guess the grip in with these tires are pretty good. Man, that was that was fun. Also a little bit scary, but I know these guys, they live here, they are born here, they they know the shit. <laughs> you see why I don't drive this fast? Because I'm not like these guys, the pros. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, bro, bro. <laughs> Thanks, Kala. Thanks, Kala. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. <laughs> Woo. Ooh, okay, so there was a there was a presentation, actually several presentations uh, about stuff. Uh, Nuke and tires were here, uh, some other stuff, and then uh, now we're just waiting for dinner. So I will actually start editing some of the videos here. Actually, the, I want, the one video I want to push out is the Dino mode. I want to warn people: don't don't use Dino mode. It's freaking dangerous. So yes, and then there'll be dinner tonight. Yeah regular stuff and then tomorrow we start driving back to Norway via Innansvegen so that would be I think about a thousand kilometers or something unfortunately uh, there'll be nice weather tomorrow oh man nice weather is priceless snow and especially um, black ice uh, frozen rain like I had uh, last trip with the bottle legs that is just not cool yeah so I think that'll be it for this one and then we will start the trip tomorrow it is uh, Sunday morning 8 in the morning and uh, we're about to leave so I charged the car to almost 100% I uh, preheated it so uh, yes we have to drive about 1150 kilometers a day oh and you know that's usually easy right if you're driving to uh, Gothenburg, uh, Malmö, but not over here. No, no, no. Over here it takes way longer. So, oh, we'll see then. It's going to be one interesting trip back. Yeah. Okay, here's MC Hammer. So, yeah, that's a good thing. So, I, I cleared the snow, most of the snow yesterday, and it hasn't snowed yet. So, so when I preheated, of course, the rest melted. But it seems like not too bad over here. Yeah, all right, let's get ready. Okay, all set. I'm ready to leave now. I was about to, I mean, I was planning on leaving at eight, but it's <laughs> eight for easy. So it'll be almost nine before we leave. But yes, I will show you something. So at Tesla Club Finland, they had some sponsors and one of them was a manufacturer wall box. So there's a cool wall box in here. It's nicely packed in here, but I will make a separate video about it. It basically trans transforms 16 amp three phase to 5.77 kilowatt single phase. So that's pretty cool for every EV that doesn't have um, uh, 400 volt support. And also another sponsor is uh, these floor mats. So ooh, let me sh show you better. So. I got I got a full set of floor mats. It's made from Finland with re how do you put this um, um, sustainable material, and I'm gonna test it uh, on the way back plus other days because this is pretty cool. You see, you have those small pockets where the water will 
go into. So that looks really promising. And the best is that this, this has a good price. It was only about 1,500, no, it was only about 150 euros for a full set. <laughs> uh, with trunk and trunk and everything. So uh, this will be interesting. You see, this one doesn't need an edge. Normally I would look for an edge. This one is like the edgeless one, but it doesn't need it because it has all these pockets. So we will see how good it is. So anyway, I'm charged now to 98%, I think. Yes, 98%. A, B, C, always be charging. They're always plugged in now, right now, while I'm stationary. Um, even if it's just a Shuko. So I have to drive pretty far to Sturuman. That's over 300 kilometers. So I guess off we go then. look reindeer and they don't they don't get out of the way but I heard that if you bark like a dog then they will get away they will move away let's try no don't shit I I don't want, I, okay, we need to overtake them. Careful, careful. Whoa, whoa, they will just run faster. No, I want to overtake them, but I don't, I want to have a safety. Uh... Okay, let, let's try to hammer them. Okay, let's go. Okay, there you go. Yes. Woo, woo. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, all good, all good. We are now at Arvid Show Supercharger. So first I wanted to go directly to Sturuman uh, because there's a slight detour over here, but I saw on the way here that the consumption was too high. So I didn't want to risk it. Uh, so we just stop here. Yes, no need to risk it. Um, so this location has six stalls. They are placed kind of weird, but I guess these ones are good for um, for trailers. So six stalls, uh, very nice. Um, so let's check out, by the way, the charter status. Oh, it's only at, it's only charging at 50 kilowatt. Ah, oh, she, you see the mistake I did was that first I was trying to go for uh, the next one straight. So I navigated a little bit too late. Only a few minutes before I came here, I start navigate to the supercharger and start heating up the battery. So. If the battery was at 30 degrees, it would be way better. <sighs> oh. So, whatever. So we already lost a little bit of time here, but that's fine, I guess. That's still better than trying to risk <laughs> and then run out of juice because there's simply nothing between, you know, here and... Let's show you here. Da -da 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 -da. No. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. There's nothing here. So it's actually a good deal and to, to play it safe to just charge up here, yes.
We are now at the supercharger in Sturman. Now we're charging up, getting 132 kilowatt. Ah, that's pretty nice. Yes, uh, the battery is heating up. Uh, we might hit 140 soon, but okay. Um, but we have to stay here long, uh, about half an hour, I guess, or for uh, maybe 40 minutes. I'm not sure. But uh, the next one is 300 kilometers away, and there's really nothing here. I'm not gonna waste my time stopping at some 50 kilowatts. So we will just charge up here. I want some lunch anyway. We can go to Q Star over there and have some lunch. So uh, yeah, let's just wait for it here. No, I feel like I need, I have some time to do some maintenance here. So I'm trying to get rid of this snow here. So you just poke it out. Oh, but well, what do we do then? Err, derp. Maybe if I can just poke them out here carefully. Oh, because I want, I want to get rid of this stuff. You see, it would be better if I can, well, use the, uh, the broom or something. Oops. Yeah, you see, it's kind of tight here, so it's not ideal. Uh, I could just poke them loose like this, and then once we start driving, it will just fall off, right? Seems like it just needs a little bit of help for me to get loose. So this was actually all the way from uh, from uh, Yukmuk, and it hasn't fell off yet, or fallen off yet. So we're just taking them off now. Gonk. Yeah, so you see, when we drive, then uh, the, the wheels slowly heats up. Now we just have a big pile down there. She, that is not optimal either. And then these, these rims are kind of closed-ish. So I guess we can try to just poke them away. Uh, kind of, without ruining anything. Of course, be careful here. Like that-ish. Uh, so, because that creates some extra unbalance in the wheels, which is not ideal and then what about here nah okay what about here oh look here we have some ice here oh let's just scrape it oh yeah that's great how about here mm, there's nothing like scraping ice from the hood in the morning oh yeah here here look more Because I'm bored. Yeah, okay, hang on. Yes, and for you guys who are complaining, I have Lumar paint protection film, so I can do this. So of course, for you guys who don't have paint protection film, don't you do it, you will scratch the paint, but this is actually safe to do. The Lumar is freaking awesome. Yeah, well, I have to clean all the wheels. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, we had to go for burger. Uh, not optimal. Uh, last time we came here, they had the meatballs, but that seems to only be available in the evening. So, oh well. And uh, the car is already good to go. <laughs> but, well, except that we have to charge to almost 100%, 95 maybe. So I have about uh, 20 more minutes.
we are now at Kirukum. Yes, exactly one week ago I was here with the Model X, but then it was way later. Uh, it was around eight something, and it's it's only five something now. So that's better. Yes, better. Uh, I don't have too much time. We're charging at 140 kilowatt right now, but I calculated I had to charge about 75 percent to reach the next one, roughly. Uh, so, way better weather today, yeah, uh, what else is it to say? Um, yeah, so it took about eight, eight and a half hours to get here, but that, that, the first stretch was slow. So hopefully the next half now it's going to be faster. So, if, if I'm back in eight hours, I should need eight hours to go back home, right? Ooh, it will be late, but not as late as last time. <laughs> uh, so not much to report from here. It's just a supercharger with some ooh, two Model 3s, uh, a taxi. Mm. And over there we have, well, we have the Elon shop. Yes, Elon, right next to the supercharger. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, uh, I better hurry. Yes, it's charging fast. We are now at the supercharger in Sveg. Oh, actually, I don't feel too tired this time because it's only, it's only eight in the evening. But there is one problem though, which is that uh, on the, uh, okay. On the highway 25, uh, there, towards uh, Harness, very close to the next supercharger. The road is closed because of an Unfall accident. It was reported about an hour ago, and it might take a while. So I have to decide in about 20 minutes before I leave now, whether I want to take the detour via Mora, but it's going to be one hour detour, or try to commit. <laughs> uh, but if the road is still closed, then I have to take a detour around that straight, and I don't know the place around there. So, and that also means I have to charge extra. So I'm not sure what to do. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm a little bit tempted to go via Mura because that road is better. Um, yeah, but wow, look at this. I don't know how the heck the car could clean itself. It's like a cat because MC Hammer looks so clean now. Uh, I noticed when I got out of the car and uh, I saw here. Well, how the heck can, how the heck can the MC Hammer look so damn shiny? Huh? Is he, is he a cat? He's cleaning itself. Look, it's so shiny again. <laughs> yeah. no, it's, it's probably that uh, Ceramic Pro coating. <laughs> okay, but anyway, so right now people in the live stream, you can see the live stream and stuff that they're giving me tons of suggestions. I don't know what the heck to listen to. I have tons of ideas. Most of them are not valid. Like some guy said, just check Google. No, Google doesn't know about the, this accident. <laughs> So I guess I'll go to the gas station, Uko Kyoto, grab some drink, some snack, and then figure out what to do. So we are here at Sveg and we're going to Harness or everyone, whatever, whichever it works. Um, and right now, you see, we will arrive at 22%. It might be 15 or 10% uh, by the time we get there. I'm not sure, um, but uh, we have some extra juice, uh, just charge charged to 84 percent now just in case so the accident is over here and it will take it will take about two and a half hours to get there so it means that it will be almost midnight close to midnight by the time we get there so hopefully it will be clean by the time we get there <laughs> because taking that route via Mura and Torsby is going to take one extra hour so 
we just have to gamble for it. Uh, and there's also some detour around there, not too crazy detour. So there, fortunately over here, it's not like, it's not like um, Saltfjelle, you know, there, there are lots of other roads around here. So yeah, but we just have to gamble that it's open by the time we get there. Yeah, so um, let's go for it then. Damn. Right now we have no connection with the car. The car is offline. There is no, no cell connectivity here. The streaming phone is also offline. No connection there either. I haven't checked my cell phone, but I think we are in... This is literally no man's land. No connection. <laughs> um, let's hope that the car doesn't break down or I run into uh, an animal or something because there's almost no traffic here. Uh, I, the last car I saw was 20 minutes ago. So um, this is also another reason why I don't like taking this route because it's it goes through no man's land. Even the 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 Tushby, uh, Kongsvinger route has some traffic. This one is so deserted, and oh, this surface also not good. And we still haven't reached the twisty, uh, annoying part. Ugh. So. Yeah, fortunately for me, I don't have to take this route too many times because if I'm going to Lapland, to Finland, then it's better to take, uh, it's better to go via Torsby. Even though this one is slightly faster, but I really hate this route, man. Yeah. Oh, oh. We have now passed uh, Trysil and uh, there was, yes, there was a guy, uh, some guy from, uh, I'm not sure where it was, uh, anyway, someone uh, who guided me over there about the accident. So I asked him where to go and first he told me to go up to Juret and then around here and then the really long detour. I think that was the 50 kilometer detour, it's like crazy. And then I asked him again, what well, is that the shortest one? Uh, and then he told me, now you can take this one. So now we are on the, this route and the, the accident happens here. And we will enter the road right after the accident. So it's actually not that bad, this one. You see, uh, maybe he uh, <laughs> recommended me the long route in the beginning because it's better, it's wider or whatever. But I don't mind driving a road, road like this. Uh, if I can cut down on 20 or 30 kilometer, yeah, this is way better. Um, but okay, so um, fortunately I charge enough, so I have 30% uh, left. Uh, the display says 144 kilometer range left, so we should still have plenty to get to, uh, to the supercharger. So this is also <laughs> another reason, by the way, to always have a nice margin. Uh, in case something like this happen. Supercharger in Elverum. Oh man, it is half an hour past midnight. We had to take the detour. So um, I figure out that it's, it's a better deal to stop here rather than over there because it's uh, 
Yeah, then we arrive at slightly lower state of charge, but you see I'm only getting 124 kilowatt, not 130, so um, I think the battery is not warm enough, but okay, that's fine, good enough. So we will just charge one more time and go back home, but right now it says minus 11% or something, so yeah, we just came here, <laughs> came here just a couple of minutes ago, so I just have to make sure I have enough juice. Um, I won't feel like going to the gas station. Everything is closed here now. Yoffs is closed. Gas station is a walk away, but... Uh, uh, should I go there? Buy some stuff? There's a Model S, by the way. Oh, and a Model X over there. Hmm. Let's figure out something. Oof, wow. Had to be careful. I slipped over here a couple of weeks ago. But uh, I noticed that white Model S, by the way. Suddenly some fossil car came and then a the guy jumped out into the Tesla. You know, if you're on a long trip like me, I wouldn't call some guy to pick me up in a fossil car and then come back after an hour. So that is the indication that there's a local charging hero. Uh, charging. I, I've seen that shit also at um, Lyndal. Uh, same thing there, you know, some fossil car came over the supercharger, pick up the car. <laughs> so, I don't recommend it. Uh, I wouldn't call it abusing, but it's, you know, I talk about this, that you get supercharger nerf. So this is, of course, you're speeding up the supercharger nerf by local supercharging like this. You should charge at home if you can. Oh yeah, a banana. And... Well, let's see. Well, it's kind of hard to see, but this uh, orange juice. Yeah. So that's all I have time for. By the time I'm back at the car, then I'm good to go. Man, we are finally back in Oslo, 2 a.m. So I spent 17 hours. I started a bit late, you know. If I started at, at an 8 as uh, planned, then I would be here at 1 a.m. ish. Uh, and if we didn't have the detour, I would be here slightly faster. So uh, it's not too bad. Um, compared to the Model X I took, then that was worse weather and all that. So. Yeah, but you know, I figured out that most people, they probably don't watch this. They just skip through the whole end. Like, okay, he's done, he's home, yeah, and then skip. And then they start commenting like, hey Bjorn, when are you gonna test the Porsche, uh, the Porsche Taycan? Uh, oh, uh, Bjorn, have you heard about the Ionity racing prices? <laughs> yeah, that's how it is now nowadays. So, I think that's gonna be it for now then. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.